Hiya Stephen, lovely to meet you yesterday and spend the morning with you working on your game. Hopefully you had a lovely round of golf afterwards. Uh, it was certainly a perfect day for it, really warm in the afternoon. Uh, and hope your trip back to Worcester was really nice and you're enjoying the, uh, the trip over with your family. <coughs> Excuse me. A uh, quick recap first of all on the work we did on your short game. You can see here on the top centre of your screen. Stands, stands quite narrow but more importantly very open. Ball very much far back in the stance so we've got too much too much lean, get the wrong graphic up, sorry. Too much lean here from the shoulder to the club head. So the ball's way back, that's exposing the leading edge of the golf club if we're slightly miss hitting it. This very open stance is just not needed. We're trying to hit a relatively straight shot, so there's no need to stand with a very open stance line. From there, the club tended to go back very low to the ground, and the overall action the is very non wristy very stiff with the wrist when we look at it from down the line what we're also starting to see is a club that goes back too much on the inside so there's too much emphasis on keeping the club low keeping the club in and keeping the wrist out of the swing and that's causing your difficulties in regards to your low point control and we discussed the importance of the alignment of your swing to the line of your swing and how it affects where the low point occurs. Uh, it's not just weight location. So, changes that we suggested listed down on the right hand side for you for a quick reference. First of all, we want to square up the stance. You can see here now, square the stance up. The second thing we've done is we just put the ball a little bit further up in the stance so we've not got quite as much de-lofting, steepening in the angle of attack going on as we had at the start of your session. So the first two points of reference are square stance and ball up. Next we talked about the overall look of your pitching action and what was needed and what we were discussing. We've got the bin behind you to encourage this. Is a little bit more emphasis on hinging the wrists on the way back. And then as we come down, we're going to release the hinge in the wrist and then hold the angle on the way through. So we've got hinge, release, hold. And that back again for you. Hinge, release. So the shaft returns where it was at his rest, and then hold. And there you key if you want to break it down and isolate areas in the swing. That's the way you will be doing it. We also discussed the line of your swing, and remember at the bottom, which says swing direction affects low points. Your swing direction was very much to the right. Whenever the swing direction is to the right, we use the art of the cane in a circle to illustrate this. The low point of the swing is going to be tending to occur too far behind the ball. The key thought for you here is hitting a little pull or a fade. You can see there that that, that just encourages the club to go back less on the inside in the early part of the swing. And approach the ball less from the inside as we're coming into impact. So it's only feel. more online and that in turn is going to produce a low point that's more at or slightly in front of the golf ball rather than a player hitting out at it a little bit excessively with a low point that's behind the golf ball on occasion and then some funny things start to happen to prevent just buffing the ball in front of you. So overall action when viewed from face on very very stiff with the wrists and now we've got some setting of the wrists 
much more versatile pitching technique returning to an impact position using the bounce of the club rather than the leading edge of the club much better impact lines and then we just lock these two up and play them through much better release and hold of the golf club on the way through so we've got a situation where we want to get when chipping and pitching we want the stance to be square we want the ball to be up hinge release and hold and think slight pull fade good luck with it and look forward to working with you again next time you visit well done